Hey, thank you for tuning in. These are podcasts from Playa del Carmen, Mexico, during lockdown in the time of COVID-19. Hey, you guys, thank you for tuning in today. This is Lockdown Diaries podcast number 10. That means that I, if I'm lucky, I have 21 days left until I get my freedom back. That will be the day. Because then I also get to meet the guy I fell in love with through the internet. And that's what I want to talk to you about today. Falling in love online. I never was a true believer of falling in love online. I tell you, I think if you meet a person online, and uh, even though you do video calls and stuff like that, you build this imaginary image in your head, and then when you meet, that person might not be the person you have imagined. But... I'm only human. It happened to me. I know I saw uh, this guy once, half an hour with face masks and in sana distancia. Um, But he matched what I thought he would be. Now the fine tuning still has to be done. Let's be honest about that. So that will be done after the lockdown and after Uh, we get a chance to meet because Mexican men work a lot they work like six days a week and some even work 12 hours a day so it will be very very hard especially because he does not live in Playa del Carmen Um, another thing is uh, one of my friends she asked me a very tough question uh, the other day she said are you going to change your lifestyle because of a man you met and um With all this free time on hand, that question kind of stuck. Because first I told her, no, no way. He knows that I have plans. And he knows that uh, I want to travel through Mexico on a motorbike. And maybe even through the Americas on a motorbike. So he knows what he's getting into. But then after we finished our conversation, I thought... uh, It would be amazing. This guy would be absolutely, absolutely perfect if he could travel with me, if he had a motorbike and had time and money to travel like uh, and follow my lifestyle. That's not going to happen. Then there are a few options he and I have to talk about. Uh, One option is that I give up my lifestyle. I don't think that's an option. Another option is that I operate from a home base and don't do these massive months away on the motorbike. Um, So the original idea was I have a bike, I prepare it for a road trip and then I just go. No home anymore, all my luggage in the back of the motorbike and just travel and maybe stay one month in one place and a week in another place and maybe only one night in a, in yet another place but uh, not a house that's mine with my potted plants with my uh, leftover clothes in the closet waiting for my return um, I could do that I mean, I I did it in the Philippines. I had this lover in the Philippines and I would return to the same island after every trip, even if I had been away for eight, nine months. Um, It's not fair to do that to the guy um, unless he agrees with that. But then um, it will also be a problem for my trust issues. Can I trust him when I'm away for eight months and... uh, I don't know. I don't. It's not what I prefer, really. It's not what I prefer. Another thing is uh, because this is Yucatan. It's kind of the uh, the appendix of Mexico. You know, you have to drive in a long way before you reach Cancun. So there will be many miles I have to uh, do extra to go, quote unquote, home. If he could move to another part of the country, which is more central. Uh, that would be amazing because then I wouldn't have to drive so many hours and kilometers. But anyway, that's uh, for the future. I do know I took a risk when I started dating that I have to change my plans. I think when you date online, it's way too early to uh, address this kind of uh, massive life decisions. 
I do think when you date online and you have a lifestyle like me, it's only honest to be upfront with the guy from day one, which I have been. I have told him, actually I was only on the dating side to talk to people, uh, to practice my Spanish, and maybe meet some fun guy, you never know, you know, I'm still, I still will be in Playa for at least a year, I think. So, um, he knew what he was getting into. I knew what I was doing. I was fully aware of that, and still, it happened. Uh, I don't. I can't speak for him, but he acts like a guy in love. But um, I do feel butterflies, and I'm very anxious to meet him and to see if those bu butterflies stay alive and multiply in uh, reality when we look each other in the eyes and get the whole perspective of who that person really is. Uh, I also told my friend, maybe I just don't like him when I see him alive, in, in real life. You know, when you spend a day with a person, maybe there's something about that person that turns you off. You, you never know. So that's for the future. I think if you date online, um, if you cannot move the conversation away from chat, WhatsApp, Messenger, or uh, whatever chat option you use, and s move over to uh, phone calls and preferably video calling, you are in an online relationship that's going nowhere. Uh, you should have regular moments where you can see or hear each other. Uh, that's what he and I do. We, we do video calling, uh, mostly late at night before we go to bed. We just uh, talk through the day a little bit and uh, say goodnight to each other. Not every night, that would be very cheesy, but we do it very often, very, very often. Sometimes we call a little earlier because we want to discuss a topic that's very difficult to discuss on WhatsApp uh, voice chat. Uh, the topic comes up during the day. Um, he tries to stay in touch with me when he's working uh, throughout the day. And uh, I think that's very kind. I think it's very important to see each other and uh, to hear each other and to be as normal as possible in those uh, video chats as well. Um, don't be all dressed up and fancy unless you have something to celebrate, but just show your true self. Be as genuine and as authentic as you can be. I think that's very, very important and make it fun. Not every video chat should be uh, because you have something serious to uh, discuss that cannot be done uh, otherwise, you also can have a lot of fun. Uh, I know uh, my friend doesn't laugh very much. He's a very grumpy face. He also says, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, and I'm grumpy. I make a good friend, but that's about it. I love to see how he laughs. Uh, when we make jokes, I see his whole face change, and he laughs a lot. I think that's a good sign, and uh, that's also good to see, because if I see his selfies, I think, whoa, this guy really has a bad mood, which he hasn't. And um, so I think that's very important that when you do video chats, you also try to make the other laugh. It's a time to relax together, to be together and to get to know each other a little better, to make fun, and to talk about serious things as well when they come along. So, um, I wrote an article on floating coconuts about falling in love online, and it's more detailed than this. I don't want to do the whole article, <coughs> excuse me, in the podcast. Uh, just go to floatingcoconut.net. I'll put the link in the text below the video. You can read it there. It has some tips and tricks, and my thoughts on falling in love love online, which happened, but I still haven't fully accepted it, that it happened, because I'm also a realist, and in the back of my mind, although he is very, uh, very, uh, how do you say that, very convinced that we're going to work out uh, in real life as well, I'm not there yet. I have to see him. I know what is important for me and what's not important for me, and uh, what's important for me, I cannot determine that uh, with a screen between us. I have to see him. I have to be able to touch him. Uh, otherwise, I, won't. I, I, I cannot dedicate myself to this. 
So um, that's the podcast for today. If you have any questions, just drop them in the comments below. So this was um, day 10. Wow, day 10. I hope you tune in tomorrow. Um, I'll try to pick a topic tomorrow. I'm not sure which one. I will browse through the questions I have in my email. Uh, I have uh, collected over the last few months. And maybe I will uh, address a topic tomorrow. Stay safe, stay healthy. And uh, thank you for tuning in today.